guys. So next up uh, for the charts that we're breaking down is GameStop or ticker symbol GME. We're starting from a higher time frame, that being the daily interval. This allows us to find our trend, our directions, and all that good stuff, you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. So uh, yesterday we closed almost down 7% at 168.83. And now this morning we're up almost 1% uh, at 170.40. Okay, you guys? So I'm going to first go over these lines and what they represent for our new viewers and then we'll break down to where we're at, okay? So this top line is our major resistance line and that can be easily tested over here. We got rejected over here and over here about two or three times till it pushed us back all the way down to our lower levels over here, okay? So and then over here we have our tested area over here and over here on the opposite side working as support. So overall, this line has been tested or this area has been tested more than three times. That's what we like to see. And then down here is our major support line. You can see that we bounced from over here. We bounce over here and then underneath we have it working as resistance over here and back here and back here. So these are heavily tested areas, you guys. Now let's go ahead and dive into where we're at. Let me first check the volume. Uh, oh my gosh. It's at 8,000. I've never seen that so low before. Um... Yeah, so we want to see at least it over 150,000, you guys. Anything below. So when you're scanning for stocks in the morning, if you find a stock that is under 150,000 volume, please stay away from it. It's going to be such a slow-moving stock that you're not going to be able to get in or hit, hit your target or whatever you're trying to do. It's going to be such a slow-moving stock. There's there's no really point in even getting into it, okay? Yes, this might actually uh, move up to that 150,000 by 930. The market opens here in about 30 minutes. However, uh, I would actually check that before um, getting in if you're going to trade GameStop today. But let me first break down this chart real quick and then we will get into that okay so as of right now you can see that we're just in this channel right here this middle line also represents a minor resistance and that can be tested as well we can see it over here we're getting rejected and reacting over here and then we ultimately bounced over here just a little bit on the opposite side working as resistance so you can see clearly that we're trying to uh push up into this resistance area up here i don't see any problem with getting in right now if you set your first target to the 199 or 200 dollar level um, and then have your stop loss maybe around the 158 area. So if we do break below this, um, then we know to get out and wait for a better entry. I know a lot of you guys, speci uh, specifically for GameStop and AMC, we have a lot of these newer uh, newbie kids that trade. They don't use stop loss, which I mean, I'm not even going to mention that anymore on these specific stocks because how many uh, newbies actually trade these stocks? They get upset when I mention uh, a stop loss. So. For you newbies and kids, if you don't want to use a stop loss and you want to gamble, by all means, go ahead. Uh, for my professional traders, yes, we want a stop loss. We want to have money management and to protect our assets at all costs because we're not fools. Okay. So uh, as of right now, with it being uh, in this upward trend, we're barely just above this trend line, you guys. So we have to be cautious. As of right now, we're creating these higher lows. Uh, if we do start breaking below that, that's why I said if we have a stop loss, we'll be able to get tagged out and wait for a better entry. And that better entry would be back down here at our major support line at the $120 level. Um, that could be the more safer entry. However, if we do, uh, let me fix that real quick. Um, if we do start pushing up into this resistance area and we can break past this and come back down and retest it as a support, the $198 area could also, or the $200 level could be another great buying opportunity if you don't want to get into this middle of this channel right here. So you could also wait until <coughs> we can break above this resistance. Now, it, we don't know if we can break past this resistance area, so that's why a lot of times we like to wait and uh, further confirm that buyers are stepping up once we can break past this resistance area because we can come up to this area and get rejected and start pushing back down to our major support level back at the 120 area. So that's why I'm saying getting in right now would be aggressive. It's still possible. You still can make this trade. However, it's not recommended because uh, your target is its pretty close. I mean, you can still get a, a decent profit off of this. Um, but however, it is really, really close. Okay, so I mean, from right here to right here. So, um, and it can reach that very fast. Uh, so you guys have to be very cautious on when doing that. So uh, I'm actually going to go down to the one hour chart so we have a more accurate look at these candlesticks and kind of see what they are doing. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. So... You can see that we came up, 
uh, we were creating these higher lows. We were in this upward trend, you guys, and then we came up and we look left. We have these top over here and this top over here, which kind of is working as a minor resistance and which ga uh, gapped us down all the way to the uh, 166 level, you guys. So if you were to get in this aggressive trade, uh, I would really have a tight stop loss, maybe around the $163 area, you guys. Uh, really, really tight because because this is a dangerous area. This is a really, really aggressive trade. I usually don't give you guys aggressive trade entries, but uh, today I just feel like um, say, you know giving you guys the opportunity if you want to be able to take that uh, aggressive trade. But this is if you you are using a stop loss, okay? So. Like I said, the other two ideal entries, which are the safer entries, would be if we can break past the 196 area, come up and come back down and retest it as a support. Then that could be a great buying opportunity to have your stop loss in the opposite side. Maybe have it at the 192 or 190 area, and uh, that could be a great stop loss for you guys. Uh, just in case we do break back below that support level, we'll be able to get tagged out and wait for that better entry. Um, if we do come up and get uh, test this resistance area and get rejected and start pulling back down, like I said, the other best opportunity, uh, the better opportunity that I can see is around the 120 dollar level back down here at this support level. Okay, so I gave you guys almost three ideal entries that you could possibly use or uh, use your advantage on this specific stock. Uh, please use it wisely. If you guys like the way I break down these charts, please, please, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys from Monday through Friday. But other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading. And